Hi, Collective. Okay, you guys, I think I've picked up on a continuation of the Black Moon and Lilith reading I did for you. I think it was last week. And they've shown me a little bit more about that. So this is a continuation of that. I'm not 100% thrilled with the tarot cards that came out because I think it focuses on more on the journey of the person that you had this activation with, which kind of annoyed me. I was like, I don't really give a shit about their journey. I care about my collective's journey. So after I dropped it all out, I really thought about just scrubbing it and putting it all away and just make maybe journaling about it. And your guides came through really strongly and said, no, deliver it to them because it will show how we see them and it will make them feel validated and it will mostly help them understand why they had to go through this with this person. And Lilith did come out. So I was like, here we go. It's the Lilith activation. The universe is seeing you as intuitive, Lilith, Earth, really grounded, gypsy soul. That's my Soma Chandra collective. Oh, yes, you are intuitive. You're psychic. You're intuitive. You have a deep soul, a gypsy soul. So I think this came out because your guides are telling you, hey, we just scratched the surface with, with the Lilith. So it's really important. You guys are apparently, a lot of you are still working with and getting to know your Lilith energy. The Black Moon and Lilith placement is so important. It's often ignored or considered like your shadow side. It's not necessarily your shadow side. The Black Moon and Lilith placement is what drives you at a primitive level and how you self-define in a very primitive way. We are, <laughs> humans are very dynamic creatures. We're not like the other animals on this planet, but at the end of the day, we are still animals. And therefore, the Lilith placement kind of reminds us that we are driven by primitive things. Being driven in a primitive way is not bad or wrong. As a matter of fact, it cannot be ignored. And your Lilith placement will pull out what primitively drives you. And it wants you to... <sighs> Lilith wants you to integrate and transmute her into the rest of yourself so that you can allow what primitively drives you to come out in your personality in a constructive way. So as opposed to a destructive way, like you can let her be destructive within you, or you can accept her and allow what primitively drives you to be a part of you. For instance, I am very driven to seek out information. Um, so I have constructively used that to be a tarot reader. I can seek out information for other people. I have, you know, integrated and transmuted some of the things that drive me. I also have a, my Black Moon Lilith is an Aquarius. I have a deep need to help raise the vibration of humanity. But when you do that in a primitive way, um, sometimes like my own shadow traits will come out with it. Um, I've had to work with my Lilith too. Apparently we're supposed to be working with Lilith right now because whatever happened with this situation, it did make you more intuitive. It got you in touch with Lilith and you cannot ignore it. Also, it's making you more grounded and earthy. Even those of you that have no earth in your chart, that does not mean, like I have no earth in my chart. My part of fortune's in Capricorn, which actually is a mathematical equation. It's not an actual part of your chart. But even if you, the point I'm making is even if you have no earth in your chart, that doesn't mean that you can't understand earth energy. You should understand earth energy because um, we live on earth. <laughs> so it's helping you get more grounded. It's helping you get more earthy. It's also helping you get in touch with more of your gypsy soul. And I think that possibly this relationship took you out of it, or maybe tweaked it in a shadow kind of way. And now your guides are saying, mm, you're supposed to take your intuitive nature, and this gypsy soul you have and get it really grounded and tr and like integrate it and transmute it. It's meant you're still doing this homework assignment on it, apparently. Also, someone's a wallflower here. This is actually a mutual energy between you and another person. Kind of wallflower energy. What my collective is doing right now. Sacred temple, planning an action in reverse, new beginning in reverse, transformation. Scorpio energy here. So 
right now you're in your sacred temple. You're meant to be doing a lot of meditating, a lot of soul searching, going within your own sacred temple, creating your own spiritual practices, listening to your own intuition and your own guides. It's not that you have to negate or move away from traditional practices or learning from others, but the sacred temple is about going within. Not making any plans or taking any major action towards a new beginning right now, that's fine because you're in a place of transformation. When you're in a place of transformation and you're in the temple, you're not really planning much. There's not a new beginning coming because you're kind of going through something. Just let yourself go through it. That's okay. Yeah, you're moving towards your higher self. Nice. And you're not so conflict avoidant right now. That's fine. That's fine. You're undergoing transformation. No new beginnings. You're in the sacred temple. It's like a calm place. This is a good card. It's a very good card. It's spirit. So it's your fifth, it's your top chakra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Undergoing a cycle of transformation. So of course, you're not taking a lot of action right now. A person, this person around you that activated it. Um, I have Gemini for them. King, admirer, femme fatale. So they might have Gemini in their chart. They might also wear a mask. I don't like to say that because that like Gemini gets called out for like being liars or wearing masks. Everyone knows like that's not true about Gemini. I don't I almost don't like that the Gemini is here because I love Gemini and I'm not going to diss a Gemini. They might be a Gemini, but they might not. But I think what we need to look at is the picture here. There could be two sides to this person. There are two sides to Gemini and any Gemini can tell you that that's kind of hard to pull off. <laughs> like Gemini's can do it. The rest of us can sometimes suck at it. <laughs> so if this person isn't a Gemini, they might struggle with this. They need to find a Gemini to help them learn how to do it right. Like my Gemini friends teach me how to do it right. This person is a king. So they're older and more mature. Admirer and femme fatale came out one after the other. Boom, boom. This person kind of, they told me this person admires the femme fatales. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> like, um, why do you admire that? Why does this person admire that? That's, I don't know how healthy that is. That's probably not the best. Like, why wouldn't you admire the intuitive gypsy soul who's grounded? Maybe your Lilith scared them. Maybe it was supposed to scare them. Yeah, that's what it was. That's why that crystal fell over. So more about the situation. The universe has a plan, passionate romance, pride and ego withholding. I kind of get the feeling that maybe you or this person just felt like, well, the universe has a plan. The universe will take care of it for us. Well, the universe will kind of make plans, but the universe moves when we move. So we have to co-create. I kind of feel like this person just always figures, well, the universe will figure this out for me. They like passionate romances. They have a lot of pride and ego and they withhold. Oh my, do they withhold? They also feel rejection. Oh, and they walked away. Okay. When rejected, walked away. What's between the two of you? Something you guys have in common is hot nerd, crone, and rebel. So you're both in crone phase or you're both older, more mature, some wisdom here. You're both hot nerds. You're both rebellious. Okay. I don't know why I felt the need to do that with that, the mutual energy, but I did. But the overall reason for the reading, what's coming towards you guys is the three of pentacles. I put reversals in, but the hermit in reverse, ace of cups, the moon, three of cups in reverse. I wanted to know what the ace of cups was. So I clarified it. And I got the Queen of Swords, the Empress. It looks like a Libra to me or a Taurus and the Ten of Cups. So I think this is you. They told me that's you. I'm picking up on feminines here in my collective. So they know that you're really smart and they know that you're not messing around. The Empress is a seasoned grown ass person with very high standards because it's a person that's earned it. And these came in the upright with the Ten of Cups. So emotional stability and this beautiful earthy energy, but also smart as a whip, sharp as, sharp as, a, sharp as a tack and leads with her sword. Once you get through her sword, then she's this really loving, giving empress. 
with this wonderful emotional stability to offer. So, and they have this one cup for you. They have one cup. They have, they had one cup. They have one cup. So it's like, this guy always creeps me out a little bit. Like, hey, do you see my stuff? Like, it's almost like he's trying to get someone's attention, but he could try a little harder than that. <laughs> this person kind of ghosts. Like, they might do all this online. They seem to hide behind something here. They have this cup here, but the moon, they're very emotional. Things are not as they seem. This is like a dreamlike state of Pisces energy and then the three of cups in reverse. So I see a start and a stop. They just won't progress. There is this fear here with the moon. Well, if you just get together with my collective and stop, I mean, the hermit in reverse is someone who's depressed or in denial. The hermit in reverse is a person who's trying to do self-reflection, but isn't doing a good job. Like they can't self-reflect in a constructive way. One cup, but they won't develop it. Not in the 3D. They're hiding behind something. I think it's because they know that... I mean, that's everything. I was like, holy shit. Okay, that is the collective. Some of you have a lot of pets. Some of you like animals too. Some of you live by water. Some of you have really beautiful homes as well. A lot to offer. You're showing up with a lot to offer. This person's coming in as the nine of wands. So they're super guarded with you. Why is the nine of wands here? I got the devil judgment in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. So this person responds to their lower emotions. They ignore the inner calling and they're super immature with the page of cups in reverse. They have like this immature sign, this side. This is like a vulnerability that they let get the better of them. If they owe you an apology, they will not apologize. They won't, like they come to the crossroads and they, this is the universe trying to tell someone something, trying to wake up. They will not, they will not, they will not open up. Fueled by desire, lower emotions, addiction, restriction, like the devil's playground here. It's like, nope, mm -mm, not with that empress. Hell no. I think this person feels like they're no match for you. But the next action coming in is justice. That came in quicker than I thought. I didn't think I'd see that since the last reading so quickly. So... I think someone's getting justice. Why are they getting justice? Five of cups in reverse for being unapologetic and moving on. I think they made you an option with the queen of wands in reverse. Or I think that because they wouldn't apologize and they just moved on, like they don't even get your friendship. They might have also been very unapologetic with you and quickly moved on to, I mean, the queen of wands in reverse can be promiscuous or a bitch or a slut even, or the other woman, um, a karmic. The queen of wands isn't always karmic, but they're getting justice for this. They're getting, they're starting to wear down. They're getting justice for not hearing the inner calling. You guys might have gotten some justice for like letting Lilith take over, but not honoring her in a positive way. Like sometimes demons have to be talked to and worked through and worked with and figured out. But someone's like flaking out here. They're flaking out on the universe big time. Now they're getting justice for this. Then they showed me a couple more feminines. The downloads I received tell me that these people aren't you. This is what they've been doing in the meantime. This might be this person's past. This might be what they've been doing since they've talked to you since, like since they've talked to you, because the next person that came out was the Queen of Cups in reverse. That came out, I already identified you. This is you. There you are. Gorge. We love her. This is life. This is a Queen of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, Four of Cups, Death in reverse. Honestly, I think that this is another feminine that ghosted the shit out of them that was emotionally unstable in some way. They can't stop thinking about her. That was supposed to have ended and it didn't. Shit, they might have been hung up on her when they met you. They could have put you in a third party situation 
And that's who they did it with, was a feminine who they insatiably chased. She was emotionally, the Queen of Cups in reverse is a uh, best case scenario. It's a person that can't, has to focus more on self-love. They can't create an emotionally stable emotionally intelligent environment for anyone else at this time. So they need to focus on inner healing and improving emotional stability and improving emotional intelligence. Whoever the hell this is, they might be kind of a dumpster fire, worst case scenario. But they don't seem to care. They can't get them off of their mind. And I was like, okay, why do people chase people like this? What is attractive about this? Why would anyone moon over someone? Well, I think this person played hard to get with them. I think this person played hard to get. I have another person showing up as well. The Queen of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign or a married woman. What happened with her? I was like, there's another one. Jesus, this person gets around. No wonder they're feeling emotionally immature. This person's caving into kind of desire. And I think that they juggled you and I made they made you an option. This is what we're getting a snapshot of what this person's been doing. Queen of Pentacles, the hangman in reverse, the knight of wands in reverse, the nine of swords. I don't know what happened with this chick, but this got totally left stagnant and on pause. That's where a yank in communication. Um... Also, the hangman comes in reverse when we're supposed to be surrendering to something and seeing it for what it really is. But when we can't do that, when we're in a situation we put ourselves in and we get uncomfortable, we act out of impulse so that we don't have to deal. So this chick might have hooked up with him for on again, off again sex. So she didn't have to deal with something and she might be totally stressed out. If you notice, there's a ghost floating here. That's actually uh, justice or judgment. Mm -hmm. They're haunted by something haunted by this red energy. This chick might have messed around on a partner while married or it was this could even be their boss. He stressed out over her. Or she stressed out. All I know is it was on again, off again, and it was something done out of impulse that wasn't supposed to happen. All that stress happened with that person. Final outcome is the Ten of Wands. Clarifying the Ten of Wands is the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Wands in reverse. This guy is a player. You can entertain me in the moment. I am all about myself. I don't know how to be a healthy King of Wands. I don't know how to take a constructive lead. I'm supposed to be a good leader. I'm supposed to be passionately inspiring others, but I don't. This person has been hurt. This person carries burdens, and yet I don't think they want anyone to know that. They do not want to admit this. They do not want to accept this, but I think that the universe is kind of angry at them with justice here, because when you do the devil in the upright to judgment in reverse, the universe is like, really? Really? We're making this abundant, like we've talked to you on a whisper for quite some time. Now we're going to shout it at you. We're going to make it abundantly clear what you're doing here, dude. And if you're not going to listen and you can't balance out the earthly energy of the devil, which is also hard to balance out. Capricorns have a tough job too. They teach us that the world is our playground, but they teach us to work hard and play hard. It's very hard to get this right. It's really hard to get it right in a constructive way. Ask any Capricorn. The energy of Saturn comes with a level of acceptance. And most of us fuck it up. <laughs> it's like we, we don't get it right. But when you do this, you will get justice. I think the universe is giving this person justice. And this is what they've been doing. Oh, with this Queen of Cups, I had two more cards here. Let's, this guy flipped in the reverse. This person lacks clear. There's a lacking of clarity on that Queen of Cups. And yet they still stalk her. They still want to talk to her. They still spy on her. They're still somewhat focused on her. They won't, even though the sun's gone down on that relationship, they won't let it die and they can't stop thinking about it. This person is kind of fueled towards karmic feminines 
or committed people or a boss. I don't know what the hell happened with this Queen of Pentacles, but it didn't go down good. They might even still be dealing with this situation. This Queen of Cups one is all like it's over, but they won't let it die. That's yeah. And I was like, okay, well, what's this person doing further now? The Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Tower, the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords in reverse. Jesus. So they want passionate new beginnings, but they over romanticize it and have very unrealistic expectations. Knight of Cups is also difficult to pull off. If you want to come charging in and pour your heart into life, and wear your heart on your sleeve. You better put your money where your mouth is. You better. This person tantrums and ultimately can't deal. They might also over romanticize. They might chase younger people that come in and out of their life because they showed me a crone and a king, but they admire the femme fatale. This sort of looks at it. This person is also conflict avoidant like the, yeah, they start new things, but then what happens is eventually the Knight of Cups has to move into a slow trot and turn into the Knight of Pentacles or a king or a queen or a king. And when we, we all go through the five of wands in life with each other and in relationships, eventually you realize, oh, we don't have everything in common. We don't share a brain. Maybe we're different in a few ways. We've got to figure this out. We've got to work through it. A card in the upright is a card of investment. This person is doing important in cards of investment in the reverse. They're getting a tower now. I don't know if this, no, the tower didn't come out. I didn't, I did an oracle reading. I didn't do tarot. So they are having things blow apart with the tower and judgment or justice. Yeah. Two of Cups in reverse, they won't connect to someone emotionally, but they're also not moving on. I don't, all these other cards can be summed up with this card, the Six of Swords in reverse. This is where we go out of the frying pan into the fire. The Six of Swords in reverse is a chronic, repetitive behavior pattern of circling the harbor because maybe this person just needs to repeat something until they get it right. And I think the only reason this is, I was like, why is this showing up? This is not my collective. This person probably doesn't watch tarot. They don't understand tarot. They don't know how to use it in a constructive way. Why do we care about this person at all? First of all, for some of you, they may try to come back in. They may come out of hermit mode and try to work with you again. I don't know that their time alone doing introspection helped them. And if they offer you this cup, it could quickly lead to an illusion. Watch out for future faking. This Knight of Cups in reverse could be a love bomber. And you need to see this King of Wands in reverse as well. This is not a strong leader. Oh, in the deck, I looked through the deck. The Emperor is also in reverse. And so is the King of Swords in the deck. So, yeah. So I think with the King of Swords in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse, that's no match for this Empress and this Queen of Swords. None, none, none. So you need to know that about this person. And you just need to be aware of the fact that this is all still coming out for you guys. You're both wallflowers too. That's fine. This is all coming out because of Lilith. Because of Lilith and intuition and the gypsy soul and the earth energy and the fact that you're meant to be in the sacred temple, this is kind of your advice. Like, it's okay to not be planning any action right now. It's okay to not be moving through a new beginning. Believe it or not, you're still in a place of transformation and you're meant to be in your sacred temple. You're meant to be getting grounded you're meant to be focusing on how to listen to your intuition the minute you hear it and to be your true self. When I see Gypsy Soul, I see a very authentic person that is unashamed to be who they really are. And you're still, you need to find your Black Moon and Lilith placement and continue to work on integrating this into your life. Apparently, it's still a thing. 
I don't know if I did it in the last reading, but down in the description below this video, you guys, I will put a link to, I think it's like Astro Cafe. You can do a quick calculation to get your Black Moon and Lilith placement. But then I don't know that Astro Cafe tells you about it. You have to Google it. It's okay. Go down a rabbit hole and discover this part of yourself because it's still coming out. And the only reason I think that we saw this person's journey is just to help you kind of feel a little bit better. Um, some of you have probably wondered, like, I wonder what they're doing now. I wonder if they think about me. I wonder how they view me. Even though we say we shouldn't care what other people think of us or what our player X thinks of us, deep down we kind of do. This is how they see you, okay? And this is how the universe sees you too. This is absolutely wonderful. It's very hard to pull off the Queen of Swords and the Empress and the Upright, and you did it. You did it. You pulled it off. Stability is looking nice for family. Even if you're all by yourself, you can be the Ten of Cups all by yourself. I'm seeing this nice emotional stability for you. So now you're not feeling super vulnerable. Now is the perfect time to stay in the sacred temple and get in touch with your Lilith. And just to let you know, I was like, well, this person just went through a few ladies now, didn't they? And I'm sorry to my masculines, um, I did pick up on mostly feminine energy here. I think I'll try to do a reading just for masculines that are in my collective. Most of my collective is female. It's like 87%. So, but it doesn't matter. I know I have a masculines here that might need some attention too. I feel like I picked up a lot of feminine energy. You keep working on yourselves. Keep working, keep working on yourself. Yeah, so, and keep getting in touch with this Lilith. I hope that this helps you guys if it resonates with you. I don't like to put out readings if I don't think they're gonna help you and I don't think they resonate with you. And I don't like putting out readings that keep you glued to or fixated on a person from the past. I just think this came out for you because Lilith is still coming out and it's not this person, but it's the relationship. And I just want you, I think it's, you know, meant to help you feel validated that like you weren't wrong, you weren't crazy, and it might have hurt your self-esteem or your pride or even you in another way. It was all meant to help you get in touch with your own intuition and Lilith and keep being this beautiful Empress and Queen of Swords. That's great. Okay, Collective, that's the continuation of the Black Moon and Lilith reading. I hope this helps you guys. I like doing it for you. I'm always listening to the universe for you, my Soma Chandra Collective. Take care of yourselves. I really love you guys. I'll see you next.